I should stay hidden if I don't want to fight. Come on. I could hear your footsteps. Welcome back. You'll be glad to know I've been to the statue of... Ah, if only I could have been there to feel your presence. If Athens is a city of statues, then Athena is their guardian. She stands high above everything, on guard over the city. Yes. Not just standing tall to protect Athens, but to serve as a reminder of the suffering those poor people endured during the invasion. Your turn to tell me something. You said a man tried to kill you. The man who rose up to kill the tyrant Xerxes was named Darius. He was of a new creed of killers, unlike any Persia had known. 
He was also the man hired to kill me. A killer of kings, hired to kill a simple blind man. Why? I have your interest, do I? Tell another tale, and I will too. I've traveled to the Acrocorinth. From there, I could see all of Corinthia. Ah, I can only wonder at what the worshippers of Aphrodite do to pay her tribute. The Aterra keep the spirit of Aphrodite alive, usually well into the night. Exactly as your goddess deserves. When I was younger, I'd lie awake dreaming of what it would be like to go worship, of course. Now that's out of the way, you owe me a tale. You said the king killer Darius was hired to kill you too? He was. By my brother. Your brother? None of this is making any sense, old man. I trust you. So I will tell you. My brother and I are the last living sons of King Xerxes. Impossible. That would make you a king. I was. My name was Artaxerxes. I guided Persia through a time of peace. But my brother wanted the throne and plotted my death. Now, I hide here, exiled, living the life of a simple beggar. I will tell you more, but first... Yes, yes, a tale for a tale. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen one location... Ah. If you'd like to hear about the bird, I could describe it to you. Nothing would make me happier. It's a majestic statue, built from the blades of fallen soldiers. It's so high above Stymphalos and the golden fields below. Up there, I could forget there was a war. So it is as it was told to me. The bird commemorates Heraclius' fight against chaos built on a place of calm. Hopefully, one draws out the best in the other. Now you tell me, King Artaxerxes, how can I believe your story? You don't exactly look like royalty. <laughs> Well, that's the point. I am hiding. Show me proof. I could. You see, I knew a man named Themistocles. The Athenian general. I heard stories about him being ostracized from Athens. All the petty politics. He came to Persia to me. The places you wished you could see. I loved the tales and loved Themistocles like a father. He was kinder to me than Xerxes ever was. Tell me one. I'll be back with stories to tell. As soon as you've seen. <laughs> <laughs>